hello racers and welcome to another review video where we will be doing a review of the Club Sport V3 pedals versus Fanatec CSL Elite with the load cell. So basically both Fanatec products, there's 130 uh, euros difference between those two pedal kits. Uh, for past year I'm using the CSL Elite with the load cell, but you guys ask for it and we got the Club Sport V3 pedals in a basic Basic, basic version, guys. No dampening on any any brake kits so far for this review because we will do it as it is from the factory, and we're gonna check those pedals out, guys. Yeah, it's a very, very cool looking pedals. We're gonna do unboxing together and we're gonna compare those pedals. What is the difference? And it's actually worth it, 140 euros extra for the uh, Clubs will be free pedals because, yeah, I'm actually curious myself, guys, because. Uh, yeah, I'm using CSL Elite with Load Cell for about a year now and I would like to know if these pedals are really worth it because they look awesome and we'll check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe and let's do this boys! So guys, I installed the pedals, as you can see, and guys, this is not going to be very technical. I'm going to be probably talking more about the physical part of the pedal, because to me it's like, you can read all the information for sure on the internet, and I'm going to give you like a my feedback basically on the pedals. Oh god, that was close. On the pedals guys, 
I also didn't use any extra brake settings or anything. I'm using basically the softest setting right now. I think not of softest, but second softest settings for the brake pedal, guys. And uh, because I wanted to compare it exactly the same settings I had on the CSL Elite with the load cell with the Wii 3. And oh boy, <laughs> guys, oh my god, I must say it's a big difference. So first thing first, guys, I had to replace the throttle pedal with the other one you have in the box. Because, as you can see probably, I'm gonna let go of throttle so you can see. Uh, first of all, that's the, the reason why, is because I'm driving barefoot or with the socks, not with the shoes. So it's definitely that pedal is not for me, because it was kind of not feeling very good. But, like the biggest thing I already decided, like noticed, like on the pedals, they are so customized. You can customize anything you want on the pedals. You can put the pedal, like different pedals, you can turn it upside down. You can put it left, right, up and down. You can make, you have a different settings in a, in a brake performance kit. So you can change the pressure you want to put. And also dampening on a pedal. So literally, the first thing that shocked me like the most, or like hit me in my nose compared to the CSL Elite, is the full customization. Because as soon as I put the, the new throttle pedal, I feel perfect. It's actually like exactly for my foot, you know. Oh, the knife bump! It's exactly perfectly for my foot. So I actually feel absolute perfect on a throttle pedal right now because I have this customized thing on it, you know, which is perfect. Uh, I was thinking about putting on the other pedals, but I wanna have. I like to have a, the brake pedal like big, like this, or bigger, so it feels kind of nice. The only thing I, I might actually do on a brake pedal, this uh, front part, the metal part, I will put it a little bit lower because I'm braking like, you can notice probably, I'm braking very... I'm using like just parts of my feet, you know? Of my, or my foot, you know? I'm just not using like a whole foot for braking, I'm using basically just one little part. I'm very, very gentle, you know? <laughs> In the terms of the braking and such. So yeah. Uh, compared to the CSL, I must say, the CSL Elite are perfect entry model for Fanatec, but I must say in a braking, if you're, if you're, like, literally guys, there's a difference between CSL Elite with the load cell versus the V3, if I'm correct, around 120, 103 euros, and it's a lot of money, but I must say it's absolutely worth it, because, like, as soon as you open the box with the V3 pedals, you see the huge difference between the CSL Elite. Basically, the thing I missed the most on a CSL Elite was the customization because the pedals were like a bit longer for me, so it wasn't good enough. And then, of course, uh, in a CSL Elite, you have this rubber, rubber parts which you put behind. It's like a very long stick of metal where you put little rubber circles, and you put like a different hardness. You know, like soft, medium, hard. Really depends what you prefer. And I was using the softest, this is not recommended for the rig, but I was using it anyway. Whoa, there's a flying core! What? What? Please don't crash me. Please don't crash me! What? Okay. Good. <laughs> okay, we're still going. We're all good. Uh, so, that, after one year, I was using the softest possible braking uh, on a load cell pedal on a, on a CSL Elite. And I think it's not recommended when you have a rig because you put too much pressure on the pedal. Which I was actually had the first first person view basically like a difference because my one of those circle rubber circles was destroyed when I opened the pedals. I was kinda surprised after one year, but you have so many like replaceable. But I feel like on these pedals it's gonna be totally different because the whole system is different and it feels more solid all over. But what was the, basically the main idea? The thing I didn't like on a, on a CSL was that the brake pedal had like, uh, because of that rubber, it had like, uh, at the beginning, when you, like, let's say, from 0 to 30%, when you, pr when you apply the brake pressure, it was uh, super soft, like almost nothing, and then immediately hard or harder, you know? And it, it, it was not allowing me to have a perfect... Uh, pressure what I want to do on a brake because sometimes you don't want to brake on like 100% you know you want to brake 50% 40% and uh, so it was a huge difference and I must say on on the on the Wii 3 
there's no such thing, you know? The, the pedal is like, of course, it's going like to from soft to hard, but it's going so much more... Like, the, the curve is like... Well, like in a real car, let's say it that way. It's very solid, you know? It doesn't... You doesn't feel any bad feeling there or any bad stuff like that. It's just it's like you break and it's like smooth as it's supposed to be. And I love it. One negative thing I basically frown out. It's probably only one negative thing. Uh, I don't know, it's my problem because uh, maybe I'm sitting differently in a rig or I have a big feet or something. Like there's like a back metal part when you like relax your legs. Like when you have the bottom of your legs. Uh, compared to CSL Elite, it's shorter. And therefore, sometimes when I'm like off the throttle, I'm kind of sliding off. It's not like a big deal. I kind of need to get used to it. You know, just a little bit. Could be like two centimeters uh, wider and it would be perfect, you know? But that's it. That's it. That's the only negative thing I found out. The perfect thing is I'm relatively shocked when I, uh, when I changed the throttle thing and I put it exactly... It took like 20 minutes because I wanted to make it perfect. So I was putting up, down, upside down, left, right, you know? And now I put it perfect. And also I can notice, guys, this is basically my first try. I also noticed that... Uh, of course I'm not using the super hard pedal right now. But... It's perfect. It's like... It's like so easy to drive immediately. I literally just jump in a car and I'm driving, as you can see, on a like... Like a kind of good speed. And... I feel like the throttle pedal is having better respo uh, response. Like, it's immediate, you know? I feel like it's like perfect response to, to what I do, you know? So it's going like from 100 to, from 0 to 100, or from 0 to 50, 20, 10, 5%, exactly as I want to. So the applying the throttle to me feels like different. I said, guys, you can read all the numbers, all the differences on the internet or on a Fanatec website. I'm just trying to give you like a look of the physical part, you know, when I touch these pedals. <laughs> so, I, I, honestly, as said, 130 euros is a big difference. Load Cell CSL Elite is a perfect pedals, but this is like a next level for me. Like, these pedals are amazing. The brake and everything feels so natural. Look, it's just, it just feels so easy, you know. It feels natural. That's the, the thing. On the LA, I had a problem to find like a maximum, you know, like the maximum uh, where where is too much or where is too little. But on these pedals, I feel like it's way easier to to control my braking and 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 throttle as well, basically. But especially the braking because that's all the, what it's all about. See, I'm driving like without no problems, you know. I mean, like I could go faster, but I just feel like the the, the brake pedal is so realistic you know like like even though CSL Elite are like super metal and everything they feel like a toy compared to these pedals so basically only thing I would change for me right now is like I will replace this this part I will put it lower on a brake pedal and I'm super happy and I can go and I will put a, a medium medium uh, the, the performance kit or whatever it's called and it's gonna be perfect guys I'm actually really surprised because I was uh, actually wondering if it's gonna be good, if there's gonna be like a big gap, big difference, if it's gonna be good or bad. But man, I should have got these pedals years ago. <laughs> like honestly, I know everybody, everybody who I know who have the V3 pedals, they love them, and I wonder still why because uh, compared to CSL Elite, they are so much better. I don't want to compare to other pedals, guys, but I want to compare to CSL Elite. CSL Elite, perfect entry level, very cheap price, but dude, just 320 extra. Because this is absolutely fantastic. It feels so good and so natural, guys. Absolutely fantastic. I'm actually really surprised. Really, really surprised. How well they perform. I feel like actually the braking is actually better than a CSL Elite. I mean, like it's still brake, so you brake the same, but the the, the 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 smoothness of the brake pedal going up and down is so good for me. Perfect, absolute perfect job. Love it.
so there you have it guys a little review from uh from from the fanatec v3 pedals i know it's not very from the technical part but uh i think you can read everything if you check the fanatec website guys there's all the information you can compare the pedals and everything i just wanted to set my little point of view uh comparing the csl elite versus the uh, v3 uh both both pedals very very good uh both low tails very very good uh i'm gonna be probably updating my uh information over the upcoming stream so like if you'd like to follow me or check out the more information make sure to subscribe or make sure to check the links below the video under the video for more information or join my discord and i will probably in the upcoming week weeks will update the information from the pedals you know like uh, giving more feedback and such so far so good guys i've driven like 20 minutes doing this video and i must say i was immediately on my lap times from the csl elite and it already feels way better so i must say I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I'm pretty happy, guys. If you would like to support the channel, if you enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to check the links below the video. We have some affiliate links for GT Omega or Fanatec. And guys, as all usual, stay awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.